Hey everybody, welcome back to Sekiro. Uh, this is not where we were at the beginning of the last episode, or at the end of the last episode. We have traveled a little bit because I remembered something and I want to show it to you. Um, which way am I going? I gotta go over here. So we came down through here once and I went, oh, wait a minute, where's that thing that's supposed to be here? And you may remember I walked out onto that uh, little... I don't know, what is that, post thing there, and was all upset because I had come out here for no reason. Well, looky there. It's our buddy, Mr. Snakeity Snake. Let's kill him. Lots of blood. Lots of blood. Dead snake. Fresh serpent viscera. So I love the suggestion that while all that was happening, I went through and like ripped his heart out or something like that. Now, where I have landed... What is that? Did I run past something? This is the other side of the bridge that he smashed initially. And it looks like I missed an item when I came through there the first time. So I tried to run across this, and he popped out and, you know, raised all kinds of hell, and everybody was very sad. So now he's dead, not to worry about him anymore. But I can get this Mibu Soul Balloon, and I think there's something cool in here. A couple of things, maybe. Another bundled Jesus statue, and a Dragon's Blood Droplet. Awesome. And... Is there anything up there? No, I don't think there is. So, that is the end of our giant snake adventure. There are no more giant snake moments left in the game, so... Very sad for everyone. Uh, and I'm trying to remember if there's a particularly safe way to get down from here, or if I can just jump and be fine. Oh, well. Alright. <laughs> Didn't end up mattering. Couple of fish trying to eat me. No biggie. I don't actually remember if there's any treasure carp out here or not. Alright, so now that we have done that, we're actually going to go ahead and go jump in the giant hole. We have all the viscera we need. So let's see, the Ashina Depths, that's not the right spot. Um, is it Sunken Valley? Bottomless hole, that one. So I may have to do some jumping around. It's not really strictly necessary for me to go ahead and jump into this giant hole, but, you know, I want you to see it. So again, this guy is called a Shichiman Warrior. Um, he's a pain. We're going to fight him later. We're waiting to get a particular upgrade to the, uh, to the umbrella before I worry about any of these guys. And this is always where I accidentally forget which button the, uh, I want to say slingshot, which button my grappling hook is mapped to. So take a leap. Wait for something to pop up. It's coming. Don't worry. Oh, no. Okay, I got it. Now, if you missed the first one, you may have noticed there was a second one down there. Um... They give you two before you actually fall to your death. So you have two different opportunities to hit the wrong button and remember what the right button is and then survive that fall. Otherwise, you know, it doesn't go too well. And this I can just drop. There's a couple of these guys in here. Yeah. 
He might get back up again, actually. Yep. Second time he stays dead. Yeah. Alright. Oh, got a pacifying agent out of him. That's nice. So if I go this way, um, this space over here is where I would have had the second opportunity to grab on and not die. So right there, if I want to be specific. Um, don't think there's anything else actually over here, though, like in terms of goodies or anything like that. And then once you have done all of that, come over here. Drop down, take a little bit of damage. And you might remember me saying, man, I feel like you come down from the top on this. You sure do. Because where we are now is the backside of the poison swamp, lots of gunners, obnoxiousness area. And that guy has an item. I want it. Let's get it. Must get all the items. Let's see what... Okay, I do have the zombie ninjutsu. Actually, I think I can just, yeah, just walk off the back. Well, shoot. He's a lot easier to fight when you're not stuck in a tight area with him. Ow! Oh my god. Sir. I recognize that technically I was running my mouth just then, but come on. Dude. Unnecessary rudeness. Alright, so I want to get up to him. Nope, that didn't work. How do I get up there? Oh, that guy sees me. There we go. Scrap Magnetite. Absolutely worth it. All right, so I'm pretty sure that there is... I'm going to just make 100% certain, but I'm like 99% certain. I can't go this way because there's going to be another Shichimin warrior. Yep. Okay. And I don't want to fight him yet because terror... So we'll take care of, we'll have an episode at some point where we take down like several headless and both the, I think there's only two, I know there's three, there's three Shichiman warriors, um, but we'll have an episode at some point where we take down the whole host of those guys, like all, like all at once, basically. There we go, that's what I wanted. Alright, so from here we can just go back down to this. I should be okay. I'm going to take this guy out just for giggles. So mental note, I guess, you can't do the zombie ninjutsu if you do a plunge attack. You have to be able to reach into their brain, and that keeps you from doing that. So anyway, now that we have done that, we're going to travel 
to the Hidden Forest, which is on the other side of the Ape's Burrow, and we will proceed on from there. Eh. There's those couple of ghost guys back there, and I don't think I want to deal with them. So I love this area, like, an awful lot. Um, it's difficult in several ways, um, but it's also really neat looking. And, you know, it, there you'll find out in a minute there's some kind of, like, arena-wide transformation effects that will happen at one point. Also has really tough giant chickens. Um, if we continue down, well, well, we'll be down for some of that at some point, but, uh, there's another headless running around down there, so we're not going to worry about him. Do we hate the chickens? Yes, we hate the chickens. Do we know they're roosters? Yes, we know they're roosters. Actually, I must collect all the items. So yeah, there's the headless. <laughs> Am I getting any closer? Nope, no I'm not. Oh, you're drunk. I gotta admit, I do kind of love that there are some enemies in this game who are literally so drunk that they don't notice you. Hey, hey! Guys! Like, you would think I would not want to fight the ghosts, right? Because they're invisible and, you know, they can pop up out of nowhere. But I just, I like fighting the ghosts. Alright, so anyway, we're now... That's the tree that we were looking at originally. We came from, actually... Eh, I got seven heals, I'm fine. Famous last words, I know, but whatever. Alright, so jump over here. Talk to this fella. go around the back to get up to this. There we go. And chicken. And again, worth pointing out, like there are people that I'm not taking three hits to down at this point. So the notion that that chicken just took three hits to kill is something. Um, I don't need to worry about up there just yet. So, head across this. We've got more chickens. So we're going to continue to see the ghost gentleman 
over and over again throughout this area. Now they do not, there are more of them than it ever looks like, but they don't respawn and you can sneak up on them. So the problem is some of them have bows and invisible people with bows is kind of rough. Plus they also like to wait for you to grab something and then pop up after that. Really? Huh. It's good to at least try and do this systematically, although between the fog and everything else, it's easy to get turned around. Uh, the good news is the area is not really all that big, so kind of a situation where if you mostly head in one direction you'll be fine. I'll use that little pathway in a bit. Okay. And did you notice the archer who popped up as soon as the dogs got activated? Listen! Alright, I'm going to go get this guy since he's sitting here waiting to be snuck up on. And then see if we can find that archer. Yeah, he wasn't there a minute ago. Like, he literally spawned behind me. And there's the other one right there. So yeah, you got to be careful with these guys. At least one more. Where's he at? There you are. Where he at? Oh, God. I don't know what the video game equivalent of keep your head on a swivel is, but keep your head on a swivel. Alright, there's an actual boss down there. We're not going to worry about him. Or a mini boss, I guess. We're not going to worry about him in the fog. He will still be there after we clear the fog, so... and he will be a lot easier to fight. And then... Um, Snapseed will take those guys out too, by the way. Which you're going to be kind of low on... Okay, so we're basically above the uh, um, the headless at this point. But yeah, you're, you're going to have more reasons to use snap seeds later on in this episode. Well, probably not this episode, but pretty soon. So I would not recommend using snap seeds against the ghosts unless you are just having a disastrously bad time with them. Which is not... Impossible by any stretch of the imagination. I think that other guy died.
you can hear him playing his playing his instrument in there. Where'd that come from? Okay. Anyway, this is the temple. So we got to figure out how to get up to the second floor. Ah, these dogs. Yeah, no, 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 no. I think at this point, I'm probably not done with the ghosts, but I think that's the majority of them. And so I need to get up to the second floor, which is not immediately apparent how to do that. You got to get up onto that branch, which means I need to get over there. So. Actually, I think I do have to go up and around right there. So what we're going to do, we're not going to fight anybody right here. We're going to run past all this. Come up here and kill this monkey. So this boss is another glutton. But the trick is, once we're here, we're safe. So you want to come around to the back. Just ignore Tokajiro for right now. Like I said, we'll get him later. I just forgot that I have to, I do actually have to run past him to get up to here. Grab myself a lump of fat wax. Everybody wants some of that. And then grapple over to this. Oh, I got nervous for a second there. I don't remember if there's anything up here or not. There isn't. Um, let's see. Oh, psh. that's annoying. That's not what I wanted at all. Sorry about that. You get to watch me run around again, just in case you missed the directions the first time. There's at least one more archer out there, so I'm not done with the... Actually. Just waiting to see if any monkeys jump up here. Ah. 
All right, we're gonna do this right this time. We're not gonna fall. We're not gonna fall, we're not gonna fall, we're not gonna fall. Okay, success. So come around here, sneak in, and oh no, I fell. <laughs> this is the easiest mini boss in the game. So just walk up to him, crush him, wait a second. Five hits. Get yourself a lump of grave wax, and I don't even think, yeah, we don't even get a, uh, we don't even get a, a uh, pearl out of this one. And then, oh no, what happened? Yashikaru sugar, the fog is gone, and what this area actually looks like is revealed, and everything is awful. I'm sitting here thinking, I've got four. I do not want to go after Fatty at this exact moment. We will go after Fatty next episode. So we'll double back and take him out. Um, but if I continue on this way... Now, previously, there was... Order. So there was to get through, to get through this. I probably should have walked over and actually shown it to you, but there's no way to get through here. Um, and now that we've killed the Miss Noble, this is open again, or open... Well, yeah, open again, I guess. Um, now that said, it's, it's not really fixed just yet. We're going to go ahead and head down to Mibu Village before the end of the episode. So we got a couple more of these guys. I just want to see if I can get them to come over here and actually approach me because they're in a bad location right now. Doesn't look like they're wanting to cooperate, so... Oh, no! One down. You just get such a nice amount of experience out of those guys. I wish you could farm them. I mean, you can, I guess, but it's... Come on, puppy. Coin purse. So I don't know if that other guy died or if he just despawned or what, because I don't see him anywhere. And he's not trying to murder me right now. Oh no, there he is. Alright, come on, bro. And down he goes. Alright, now... We've actually landed in a pretty good place. Because... There's a fella over here. Oh, has he noticed me too? Where's he at? Oh, there he is! Uh-oh! Okay, we're going to back up. Didn't want to fight him just yet. I should be able to do this even though he knows I'm here. Yes, I can. Okay, all good. Okay, 
So we are now at the opening area to Mibu Village, which is another area that I'm quite fond of and is a really, really good, again, not quite late game farm because we're not quite at the late game yet, but uh, good farming area. And we're going to wait. There he is right there. Um, you know what? Let's try it. You guys don't mind a couple extra minutes, do you? If I'm not able to take him out on the first try, then I'll get him next episode. Um, also, you can talk to this guy who has an item that we've been waiting for, which 1800 I have 405. I can't actually afford it right now, but the modeled purple gourd, which works against um, works against terror, so that item comes in real, real handy. We'll spend a lot of money at that place. Okay, so what I want is... My Akos are already on. I want a Gachin Sugar. Sometimes you can sneak up on him and sometimes you can't. And actually, we're going to check real quick. I don't remember if I ever got the ability that makes you stealthier. And since I have some points right now, let's... Uh, All right, that's just spirit emblems. That one. Okay, that'll help. Because now we're about as quiet as we can get. Papanakos. Papagachins. And let's see if we can get a death blow on this guy. Awesome. The other thing that I want to do... Oh, I've got it. Okay. Is he dead? I thought he had two. I could have sworn he had two death blows. Well, alright then. That was easy. And he was 700 experience, so not nothing. I could have sworn he had two. How did I get him twice? No. Well, shoot. We're going to kill him twice, then. Just because we can. Alright. So, yeah. We're going to call this an episode now. Um, hopefully, you've been having fun. I enjoyed this episode. Leave me a like. Leave a subscribe. Tell everybody you know. We will be back next episode. We're going to go through Mibu Village. And I'll show you. Actually, I got enough to grab that thing. I'm going to grab that off camera, um, but we'll go through Mibu Village, and I'll show you all the fun and carnage for that, and probably double back and take out um, that other mini-boss back there. So, a couple things to do next episode. See you soon. Thank you so much for watching.